क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टीन एक्सप्लेन द कादियानी फ्लैग द सिक्स पॉइंटेड स्टार इज अ सिंबल ऑफ जुडिज्म द मिनरेट टावर इज अ सिंबल डेट हजरत ईसा विल डिसेंड ऑन द ईस्टर्न मिनरेट टावर ऑफ जाम मस्जिद डोमेस्किस सिचुएटेड इन सीरिया कादियान इज कॉपीड इट हाउ एवर दिस मिनरेट वॉज बिल्ट इन नाइनटीन सिक्सटीन इन कादियान एट ईयर्स आफ्टर द डेथ ऑफ मिर्जा गुलाम अहमद कादियानी वे आर डोनेशन द क्रिसेंट इज अ सिम्बल ऑफ इस्लाम कादियान इज ट्राई टू पोट्रेट दम सेल्स एज मुस्लिम्स बाई यूजिंग इट ऑल्सो देर बिलीफ इज डैट इस्लाम वॉज लाइक द मून ऑफ द फर्स्ट नाइट क्रिसेंट ड्यूरिंग द टाइम ऑफ प्रॉफिट मोहम्मद एंड इट टुक द फॉर्म ऑफ अ फुल मून द मून ऑन द फोर्टीन नाइट ऑफ द मंथ ड्यूरिंग द टाइम ऑफ मिर्जा गुलाम अहमद कादियानी वट दे ट्राइंग टू एक्सप्लेन इज डैट दैट वन इस्लाम वॉज एट द टाइम ऑफ प्रॉफिट मोहम्मद इट वॉज नॉट एट इट्स पीक बट वन मिर्जा गुलाम अहमद कादियानी केम टू दिस वर्ल्ड इस्लाम रीच इट्स पीक विल हजरत ईसीम ऑल्सो बी अ प्रॉफिट एंड एन उमती फॉलोअर एट द सेम टाइम provide references from the quran and hadith and also prove it logically the verbal evidence for this from the quran and hadith is as follows in the holy quran surah al imran verse number 81 in this verse allah state that remember when allah made a covenant with the prophets saying now that i have given you the book and wisdom if there comes to you a messenger confirming what you have you must believe in him and support him he added do you affirm this covenant and accept this commitment they said yes we do Allah said the then be a witness and i too am a witness this verse is about the world of spirit the brief explanation of this verse is that allah took a covenant from the spirits of humans then he separated the spirits of the prophets took an oath from them that when they come into this world and allah gives them the book and wisdom then if the last prophet comes during their prophethood and sharia who confirms their books then they have to believe in him and have to confirm him All prophets agreed that they would believe in this prophet and also help him. It is agreed upon the Islamic scholars of the past 14 centuries that the prophet about whom the covenant was taken from all the prophets to believe in him is about Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He is known as Khatim al-Bijin, the final prophet, Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. This proves that all the prophets including Hazrat Isa al-Islam have agreed to the prophethood of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and thus they are part of his ummah. Now according to the hadith of Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam When their leader has stepped forward to lead them in fajr prayer Isa ibn Maryam will come down to them their leader will step backwards so that Isa can come forward and lead the people in prayer but Isa will place his hand between his shoulders and say to him go forward and pray for the ikama was given for you then their leader will lead them in prayer Sunan ibn Majah hadith number 4077 The first salah namaz that Hazrat Isa alayhi salam will offer after returning to this world will be led by Hazrat Imam Mahdi alayhi rizwan and Hazrat Imam Mahdi alayhi rizwan is the part of the ummah of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam so the salah will be offered by Hazrat Isa alayhi salam behind Hazrat Imam Mahdi alayhi rizwan which proves that Isa alayhi salam is included in the ummah of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam now in another hadith Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said he Prophet Isa alayhi salam will break the cross kill the pig and abolish jizya He will call everyone to Islam. Allah will eliminate all religions except Islam. Fatha Al Rabbani, Musnad Ahmad, Hadith number ten thousand four hundred and eighteen. Now, according to this Hadith, when Hazrat Isa Islam will return to this world, which religion will he practice? Which religion he will propagate and implement in the whole world? That religion will be Islam. So, Hazrat Isa Islam will be the cause of the dominance of Islam in the world near the Day of Judgment. Now, who brought Islam? Prophet Sallam brought it. Now, when Hazrat Isa Islam shall come and will propagate Islam, it proves that he is the part of the Ummah of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, just as we became part of the Ummah by affirming to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Similarly, all the prophets from Hazrat Adam Alaihi Salam to Hazrat Isa Alaihi Salam affirmed the prophethood of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the world of spirits, so they became part of his Ummah. There are many logical arguments to explain that Hazrat Isa Alaihi Salam. will be a prophet and a follower at the same time but i shall present a simple example to explain my point a person can have more than one status at a time for instance if i relate myself to my father i am a son and if i relate myself to my son i become my father in this way a person can have more than one status this is because the status changes as the relationship changes when prophet isa alaihi salam will be related to his ummah followers he will be a prophet 
and when prophet isa al islam will be related to prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he will be a follower so both verbal and logical evidence has been presented before you